In this video, I'm going to be discussing the annual energy consumption of a typical space warmer that you might find in an office space. And there's just a few uh, details that I want us to be familiar with before we start analyzing how much the annual consumption is. Uh, first, there's four different settings along the right side here. First one's a void circle. That signifies off. Then you have a fan-shaped symbol, which denotes just fans working, no heating element. And then a small circle, and that smaller circle just signifies a sort of low setting in terms of heating element load. And then obviously big circle is going to be your higher load. Now also to be familiar with is this dial on the left, which signifies that there's zero load and then all the way up to high speed. So this is somewhat of a piezoelectric resistor of some sort. So what I want us to do is find out what's the annual energy consumption of a device like this and we'll make assumptions for that and also what's the effect of each of these dials on the left and the right. So starting off what I'm going to do is show you, this is my example device that I always use to show people. Uh, first we have two wires allowing the electrons to go in and out of. So it doesn't matter which way we clamp it because we can always just switch our clamp, uh, our clamp meter around and that will just reverse the polarity. And all I'm going to do is while this mechanism is running I'm going to grab and clamp one edge. And what that'll do is as the electrons are shooting through here, it's going to induce a current and the pretty numbers are going to read right on my little display here. So let me start off. First we're going to start off with just off mode. This one should be obvious. I, I, I don't expect this to consume very much. So I'm going to spin it to amps. And let's just turn on the backlight so we can see. As you can see, it's saying zero, which is what we would expect. Zero amps. Then, as we kick it off, we're going to switch it to the fan mode. So now you have just fan blade spinning. No heating element, just fan blade. And as you can see, we're reading 0.24 amps. 0.24 amps, and we can write that down. Now, what I'm going to do real quickly here is I'm going to hold this on our right, and I'm going to take my left hand and start twisting this and see if this influences our reading at all. So here we go. We're going low. Notice I'm about halfway now. I haven't seen a change at all. Even if I do it quickly, it doesn't matter. I can see the fan slowing down. It's not doing a thing. And then I can actually take it all, all the way down to off mode. And then it just turns off. So as we can see that this speed, so this dial over here is not having any influence of how much power the fan actually consumes. There's just an extra resistor, probably parallel circuits, and it's just adjusting how much amperage the actual fan motor is seeing, not the whole device, not the whole thing. So now I'm going to switch us, I'm going to switch us to the first heating mode. Now pay attention to that reading. There we are, it's sitting right around nine amps. The light went off here. What's going on? There we go, nine amps. And I don't know if you saw the light flicker, but it's drawing a lot of amperage right now. So we're sitting around nine amps. That's pretty good. I'm gonna just play around with this dial over here and see if this makes any influence on the heating element. Didn't look like it. It's the same thing. And then I'm going to switch us to our fourth setting, 
which is going to be the biggest dot and our highest heating mode. And you can see that that kicks it right up to around 11.5, 11.4, 11.45 it's sitting at. And once again, that dial makes no difference. That dial's a funny dial. There's no, no power consumption. People are sitting there with their fan only running at half speed thinking that it's saving them energy. Okay, so let's bring this back to the paper, shall we? Okay, so back to our goals. We were attempting to determine the electrical demand in KW or watts. We we're also trying to determine the annual energy consumption in KWH. And then um, we can actually translate that into something a little bit more real, like actual uh, expense of that electricity, of using that item on a, like a typical basis. So the four main states that we discussed were off, fan mode, and then a low and high setting for the heating element. In each of these modes, we did a particular reading, off read 0 amps, fan only read 0.24 amps, and the low and high settings read 9 and 11.44 amps, respectively. So to determine the power, we need also voltage. So what I did is I hooked it up to our little heating element after the video. And this is what I read. 121.3 volts. So now we have all of our amperage readings plus I'm just going to assume average it out to 120 volts. And I calculate it with the calculator that um, is on my blog and you get 0 watts, 28.8, 1077.6, and 1372. The, uh, the calculator is not necessary but it, it just assists and you can act as a check but um, I just wanted to bring this into a chart to kind of give us an overview of this piece of equipment. So as you can see you have all your different states on the left off, fan, high and low. Then you have your amperage readings just to the right and even further to the right is your electrical demand, your power. So what I did is I assumed 2,000 hours of operating um, per year. Now where did that come from? I just assumed that you know maybe someone for 8 hours a day, 50 hours a week, Maybe they live in Alaska, I don't know, maybe they sit underneath the air conditioning unit, whatever the case may be. For 8 hours a day, 50 uh, weeks a year, they, uh, they operate this heating element or fan or they just keep it off, whatever the case may be. And you can see in the next column that we have a annual KWH, which is 58, uh, 2150, and 2750 and then we just multiply it by a typical dollar per kwh and we attain a dollar per year and so you can see just in the top keeping it off obviously costs nothing fan mode only costs uh, would cost seven dollars and 49 cents a year to run it every day during work all day um, low and heating element, just this unit alone would cost you 280 or 350 bucks, depending on what mode you're in. So you can see that that heating element actually consumes more energy than, you know, 50 of these fans just running if it was just in fan mode. So, what's the moral lesson? Uh, don't overcool your building, so you don't need to have. Uh, these space heaters within the office space. And just as a reminder, I'm going to show you guys on my blog where that calculator is. Okay, and I just wanted to show you guys on my blog where the power calculator is. Uh, obviously, this 
first post that I have up here, uh, posted just a day ago, um, is showing how the power calculator works. And uh, there's a lot of other content on here as well, but the power calculator, you'll see a tab just next to home. You click it on in, and you can see it's just simple, you know, 9 amps, 120 volts, and, you know, basic little calculations, but. Uh, I just decided to toss it in there so if anyone was interested they could uh, do real quick calculations. So anyway, um, feel free to let me know in the blog uh, what you'd like to see. I have a few polls and everything up just saying what seeing what my viewers would like to see and, uh, and I can also make more calculators so you just gotta let me know. And thanks for watching.